with the topic of fat shaming. She's now addressing the comments head on. It's fat phobic. With different people saying that fat phobia is, is perversive and connected to the patriarchy and white supremacy. And one of the faces of the fat positivity movement, fat shaming her dancers and getting sued for it. And not just fat shaming, but allegedly making her dancers eat a banana outside of a private part of a scripper. That is not what bananas are supposed to be used for. And get this, one of the people in the lawsuit who's on Lizzo's side is also a professed Christian that has spoken out and shamed some of these women as well. This is... 2023 gets weirder and weirder by the moment. And so we're going to be jumping into the story of Lizzo and the entire... Uh, debacle. So if you guys don't know who Lizzo is, she is a very talented artist, singer, songwriter, rapper. I'm not sure if she's a producer, but Lizzo's talented. And she's kind of been at the forefront of this like healthy at every size movement, which we know is not true. You can't be healthy at that size. Um, but she's also been working on her health, which ironically enough, she got dragged for that. So it's like you, you're, you're, you're saying one thing, then you're doing another thing. And so Lizzo is now in hot water because of a lawsuit by her dancers accusing Lizzo of, get this, S-A or S-H and creating a hostile work environment. All right. So let's take a, a, a look at this story. Uh, Ray, you want to zoom in on that for me? Um, Los Angeles, California. Lizzo has been sued by three former dancers who accused the Grammy winner of S-H and alleged that the singer and her production company created a hostile work environment. So this is a civil lawsuit. These aren't criminal charges. It's important to note that. Um, in the Los Angeles County Superior uh, Court claims Lizzo pressured uh, one of the dancers to engage with performers at a club in Amsterdam and shamed another dancer for her weight gain before firing her. Lizzo! Shamed another Dan. This is the allegation, allegedly. Okay. Sh <laughs> Hold on, you can't make this up. Plaintiff Arena Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noel Rodriguez make numerous charges, including religious and racial harassment, disability, dis disability discrimination, um, assault, and false imprisonment. Lizzo on her Andrew Tate. What is going on here? The legal complaint seeks unspecified damages and names Melissa Vivian Jefferson, known professionally as Lizzo, her production company, Big... <laughs> you can't make this up, bro. <laughs> her production company is called Big Girl Touring. Big Girl, Big Touring. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm not mad at it, actually. I think it's dope. <laughs> Well, you can't have you can't be big girl, big touring, and be shaming big girls for big touring, Ray Rock. I'm just saying it's a cool name. I'm just saying. It's, what is going it's... on? <laughs> this man, yo, okay. And then this this is the name that's important to note. Check out, remember this name. And Charlene Quigley, captain of the performers dance team. So Lizzo, her company, and Charlene Quigley, who's the captain of the performers dance team, are all in this lawsuit. Okay. Uh, representatives for Lizzo didn't immediately respond to emails seeking comment on the lawsuit. The court filing claims that after performing a concert in Amsterdam, Lizzo and her crew attended a sexual themed show at a club in the city's no notorious red light district. During the show, Lizzo led a chant pressuring Davis to touch the chest parts of one of the women performing at the club. The filing states, which which this is, she, they were probably tipsy, but this is this is essay. Like that, you you can't tell somebody to touch another person's private parts like that. That's that's textbook essay. Finally, the court, uh, the chorus became overwhelming and a mortified Miss Davis. What is that word? A quinced in an attempt to bring to an end the chance. The complaint states plaintiffs were aghast with how little regard Lizzo Shore showed for the bodily autonomy of her employees and those around her, especially in the presence of many people whom she employed. Lizzo, routinely championed body positivity, is accused of calling out Davis for her weight gain after accusing the dancer of not being committed to a role. Davis was fired in May for recording a meeting during which Lizzo had given out notes to dancers about their performances, according to the complaints. Wow. Okay. So she got fired because she was recording. This is fascinating. Okay. Quigley, who certain now remember, I told you guys, remember that name, Shirley Quigley? Okay, this is important. Because Quigley, who served as a judge on the singer's reality show, Lizzo, watch out for the big girls, is accused girls, uh, is accused in the lawsuit of pushing her Christian beliefs onto the dancers. Right. 
you got to admit, this is the biggest plot twist in this whole story. I did not see that coming. Okay, so Lizzo, Miss Body Positivity, is fat shaming her dancers for having body positivity. And then her lead dancer is also allegedly pushing her Christian beliefs onto the dancers. The court filing claims quickly referred to Davis as a non-believer. This is how you this is how you know this is probably true because she's straight up using like Christian jargon, like non-believer, and told co-workers that no job and no one will stop me from talking about the Lord. Well, I kind of like that. <laughs> In addition, after discovering that Davis was a virgin, Quigley frequently discussed the subject, brought it up in interviews, <laughs> and even posted about it on social media, broadcasting an intensely personal detail about Miss Davis to the world, according to the lawsuit. Earlier this year, Lizzo won a Grammy for Record of the Year, hit the uh, about damn time a global tour supporting her first studio album, 22 is special. Yo, so they were, so they were, this, this, this lady that is suing her is basically saying that the Christian lady would repeatedly talk about her uh, virginity status. All right, so uh, there's a lot here to comb through. Okay, all of this is alleged. All of this is a civil lawsuit. There's no criminal charges. But uh, Lizzo's getting dragged all over the internet, and people are shocked by these because it is the quintessential hypocritical response to something that seems in direct contradiction with what you represent. Ray is at a loss for words. This I'm is at, the first, ladies and gentlemen. I'm at a loss for words uh, <laughs> because... One, I I have a hard time talking about females and their bodies. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I have a large respect for women, and and you know, I'm not saying that Ruzan doesn't, but you know what I'm saying. But you know, um, I I not I have I, you know I want to use my words carefully. Uh, I do want to say that this is you know your classic your classic case when someone confuses confuses loving yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. With loving yourself at any means at, at in any state. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Calling something good no matter what state it is. Mm -hmm. Right. So, mm -hmm. for example, like we wouldn't say that about anything else. Mm -hmm. Right. If if, you know, I wouldn't call myself, you know, a good person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, at any state. Right. If I was. If I if I was stealing, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. If I was doing something harmful, I wouldn't say I was a good person. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, doing good things, yeah. right? Yeah. And I think that like you know, there's a difference between saying that you should love yourself and that you should have respect for yourself, and that there are people who are naturally have a certain bone structure, right? Who will never fit into you know the European type of body structure than saying that oh it's okay that you're 600 pounds yeah i mean listen i'm gonna be completely honest with you you went the direction of her body and i don't, really don't care about her body yeah i'm talking about the story in this is she's a hypocrite bro but that's but that's why the reason why i'm talking about the whole body thing is because that's something that's a part of her brand. You know, you know what it is, bro. What's fr what's infuriating about this is remove whether she's a big girl or not. And mm. let's just say all of this. Let, let's just, I, which by the way, I think the whole bone structure thing is mm, kind of cap. But let's nah, just let's just say let, let's just say it. Let's 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 just say it is. Let's just say it is. And I'm not talking about a generic. Certain women have wider hips. I'm talking about no one naturally is, is going to look like a Lizzo unless there's a thyroid issue. See, uh, no, 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 no. Not, gonna, like, right, right. We're going to spit facts, bro. We're not, we're not, we're not going to coddle people. No one, unless there's a thyroid issue or there's an overconsumption of calories, one of two extremes. If, if there is that, but, but let's just table that. Let's just say I'm wrong, yeah. hypothetically. The issue here is this is the same thing when pastors do content about uh, against LGTB thing. And that becomes their main thing that they want to preach down on. And then you find out that they secretly had a right, on right. the low lover. That's the the deeper issue. Yeah. It's something that you celebrated and you built around your brand, which is body, pos uh, body positivity, healthy at every size, mm -hmm. is the same thing you secretly dragged people for. Yeah. That's the disgust people are feeling. 
Yeah. I don't, you know, if, if she, she's struggling with weight, most folks, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's probably struggled with weight her whole life, her whole life. And whether it's a thyroid issue or, 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 or bone structure or an eating issue, I, I don't know. Right? right. But no one wakes up naturally that size. Right. Yeah. Like like this is over years. But but if we just table that, we just go, wait a minute. What's happening here is just a complete and utter hypocrisy, a complete and utter violation of other people's boundaries. The fact and, and then there's a, a Christian element attached to all of this. Man, the fact of the matter is, is that it's not congruent with with, with the brand that she was pushing. Absolutely. It, right. But we also know that people have space to change because like you noted in the beginning of this chat that she was working on her weight because she and she yeah she was she was right so that means that you know she could be changing some of her opinion you know what I'm saying on what body positivity actually is mm -hmm. because if if her body was fine the way it was mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. then she would have no reason to work on it mm -hmm. got it right totally 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 I'm I'm saying the hypocrisy is is like one of the biggest triggers for people because oh, folks do not like the the hypocrisy here and so and, and so if that's what she's if, if that's what she's dealing with uh that's that's uh that's sad someone said hypothyroid is a real thing but you could still learn how to get ahead of hormonal issues yeah for sure of course Hypo, hypothyroidism is a real thing genetics are also a real thing yes right and, and but I, I don't know what percentage we would categorize it but as someone who has serious fat boy tendencies i i, I could attest that i could balloon up and it, and and it just be a byproduct of me eating bad, you know what I mean? And not everybody's the same. Uh, Lizzo's yeah. ban, uh, ban brand was based off of lies. It's no surprise she was lying. You can't fat shame if you were fat last week. I mean, I don't know. I I, I, <laughs> I man, that's that's. I wouldn't say that I know that I know that she was lying. You know what I'm saying? What I will say. What do you is, mean? We're lying about what? Like so, she says that the that she said in the comment that she knows the fact is that she's lying. Okay, right. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. assume that she's lying. Yep. I could assume that she had a certain belief at a certain point, uh -huh. right? And now is recanting that point. Or dig this. Here's here's my conspiracy theory. Or is it the fact that she started getting a hold of her health, the scales started moving in the right direction, mm -hmm. and then she, in her zeal and in her legalism, started coming down harder. On all of her friends that hadn't caught up with her yet, which which could happen. Also, she also has a business to run. Her business is actually the she she has dancers mm -hmm. that have to keep up on stage with her. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So let's get rid of like the body types, yep. right? But there has to be a certain ability and mm -hmm. stamina to have in order to do what she does, which is. Prob if we're gonna keep it about probably less likely if you are of that body type. Probably, yes. Probably less likely. Not impossible. Not impossible. Because because Lizzo, even at her size, is extremely talented at all the above. Like she up there dancing, singing, rapping, she, doing all the above. She is very similar to Beyonce w with her skill levels. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but I don't know, I, but I, I, I'm not familiar with her breath control. Does her breath control is nice? Her breath control. She plays the flute. You know That's how right. That's right. you know how well you have to control your breath to play, play the flute. All yeah. my woodwinds people say, "What up?" But <laughs> but to play the flute, you have to have excellent breath control. The other thing is, is this: you can have bre uh, excellent breath control, but for how long is this sustainable? Right. Right. Um, right. 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 But we're not saying that. You know, at least I'm not saying that. There's a certain weight limit to being able to dance well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's no different than someone who is a center in the NFL. Right. There can st there's still an athleticism to what they're doing, even though they're technically overweight. Right. Right. But they they work out to be that. As does Lizzo. Lizzo has to work out to to, yeah. to be able to be on stage that and to long and, and to that. sustain that. So here's CP the artist take, which I think is a good take. He says she lied about fat positivity to people that were dying from that. Ah. It was like the drug dealer pushing crack. That's very good. Yeah, man. I'm 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 in the notion of believing the best about people, but there is there is a lot of truth to that. And the truth is is that if you're gonna say that anyone at any type of body type, right? I, and I'm the last one to talk about, you know, body types, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm built like a sack of laundry, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, let's get that straight, you know what I'm saying? 
So, but what I will say is that we can't say that at any weight size and at, at any everything is all good. That there should be a positive uh, outlook on the body. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I I think that there comes a point where it's unhealthy. Ray, Ray Rock said it, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't say it. Ray Rock said it. See, this is how I don't get in trouble for stuff like this. So, okay, but but give me what are your honest thoughts about the plot twist, Ray, with the Christian element? I was under. not ready for that. I man. was not ready. I don't know what to make of that. I'm, I was not. First ready. of all, if, if if you would have told me a week ago, hey man, I was at I was at this mixer in Atlanta, and I met the girl who is the lead dancer on Lizzo's yeah. dancing, and she loves Jesus. The lead choreographer. I'm like, what? I would have yeah. not believed you. But to find this out in the context of her shaming yeah. people who aren't Christians, yeah, her putting someone's virginity status on yeah. display repeatedly, allegedly, allegedly, that is a plot twist I wasn't expecting. Yeah, I was not in the name of. I, I don't like when that stuff's done in the name of Jesus. Yeah, me with neither. all the other hypocrisy, right? Like you got yeah. one, she's told to touch the, the breast of strippers at an event, and then you got this other lady shaming and and, and telling this girl, "Oh, she a non-believer, she's a virgin," but she like that's just a mess. Yeah, that also shows you the the how complicated uh, an organization could be because the leader can feel a certain way, mm -hmm. right? And the support can feel a, a totally different way, and then the the support to the support can have a completely different experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Hey, this is a segment from our daily after party stream. Consider partnering with us online for as little as $5 a month to get access to these daily after party streams completely unedited. You'll also get access to our podcast as they are streamed live into the community before anyone else gets to see them, get to interact with our guests, get access to our private Discord server, and a discount code for our store for as little as $5 a month. Ultimately, that will help towards helping us continue contextualizing the gospel using media and podcast here on YouTube. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.